I think the biggest one and the easiest one to understand is that there are so many point solutions out there to solve individual problems in IT, um, and those drive inefficiency. Um, it, in some situations, it makes sense to go out and buy the best MDM solution, the best server monitoring solution, the best end user remote, uh, remote access solution, right? But ultimately, if you keep doing that, if you keep adding solutions to your pile, instead of a stack, it, it turns into a pile, right? Um, and so one of the biggest challenges that I see is tool sprawl. Hi, this is your host, Sapil Bhartia, and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk. And today we have with us Peter Britton, Senior Director of Customer and Product Marketing at Ninja One. Peter, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks so much for having me. It's my pleasure to talk to you. And if I'm not, I, I think this is the first time you and I are talking. I think yeah, I'm talking to someone from Ninja One for the first time. So I would like for our audience to learn a bit about the company itself. So talk a bit about what do you folks do? Our mission is to help companies manage devices more simply. Uh, managing endpoints, whether it be a server, a workstation, a laptop, whatever it may be, um, is always a challenge. There's so many different kinds of devices. There are people working in so many different types of environments, and there are so many different ways that people work and need support that it's always been a challenge to manage them effectively, secure them effectively, and provide support in a way that drives productivity and satisfaction in your employer base. And what we've done is built a platform that allows you to manage all of your endpoints in a single pane of glass in a really automated and efficient way um, that kind of gets around some of the challenges of legacy endpoint management solutions like requiring on-premises infrastructure or um, requiring a PhD to use. When you talk about endpoints, uh, talk a bit about what is the scope of Ninja One? Our bread and butter has been for a long time everything from uh, servers, networking devices, virtual machines to end user devices like laptops and workstations. Uh, over the past year, year and a half, we've also been developing additional capabilities around devices for things like IoT devices with uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, and our upcoming uh, release of mobile device management capabilities will allow us to expand, extend from everything from smartphones to servers, if you will. What kind of struggle you see customers, enterprise customers face in managing de these devices where even you feel sometimes, hey, these are still some of the rough edges that even you folks have to uh, kind of address? I think the biggest one and the easiest one to understand is that there are so many point solutions out there to solve individual problems in IT. Um, and those drive inefficiency. Um, it, in some situations, it makes sense to go out and buy the best MDM solution, the best server monitoring solution, the best end user remote, uh, remote access solution, right? But ultimately, if you keep doing that, if you keep adding solutions to your pile, instead of a stack, it, it turns into a pile, right? Um, and so one of the biggest challenges that I see is tool sprawl. So what we've done is by bringing all of your devices into a single pane of glass, we've really helped reduce, um, one, reduce the cost and complexity associated with tool sprawl. Two, we help custom, uh, companies um, automate more effectively, right? So if everything's in a single pane of glass, you can, um, you can leverage automation to really expand your capability set and act, act as a force multiplier for you. But then three, um, it's really hard to say that you have a good understanding of your environment if all of your environment is managed in different places. And so I think the single biggest benefit of single pane of glass is visibility across your whole IT estate. So I would say that is the single biggest challenge um, as the number of devices and the types of uh, devices have grown. Um, but there are others as well. Um, there's you know the training cost of having all those different tools. There is um, the siloed nature of data when you have different teams managing different devices with different tools. Um, and, and there's a host of others, but I think those are the big ones. As we are talking about the, the ecosystem, the market itself is evolving as you're talking about new endpoints. How is Ninja One evolving? And if you can also talk about some latest you know, features update that you folks made to your offerings. As I mentioned, we, we really started out in the um, traditional device space. So laptops, workstations, servers, um, some of the infrastructure stuff like networking devices and virtual machines. Uh, and as we have grown and as we have evolved and as we've moved up market, we realized that uh, those are not the full set of devices that people need to manage. Um, and so for us, our biggest evolutions are coming out really hopefully in the near future with things like our mobile device management capability set. Um, uh, Raspberry Pi will hopefully come out uh, sometime next year. 
uh, adding more devices that you can manage and get that single pane view. I think that's the biggest way that we are uh, addressing the changing market. Of course, since we are talking about <laughs> new features updates, talk a bit about summer 2023 release. Uh, what are the features announcement that you folks made there? Yeah, so we've just completed our rollout of our summer 2023 release, and it's probably our, our biggest release in the past two years. Uh, and what I like most about it is um, there are three kind of pillars of this release. One is we're providing more visibility in our platform. The second is we're providing more opportunities for automation. And the third is it's very, very customer driven. You know, at Ninja, we have a maniacal focus on our customers and their needs and wants. And I think probably more than any release we've done in a long time, this one is, is very customer driven. So if you look at some of the features that are included, uh, the vast majority of them are very big customer asks, things that um, our customers have felt friction with or uh, they've been asking for for a while and we're finally able to deliver on. Uh, I'll give you some examples. Under the category of visibility, we have three kind of big features in this release. One is um, our new patching dashboard, which gives you complete visibility over um, your patching estate. And we know how important that is for any IT team to know how their devices are patched, how they're secured, um, and what the stance is so you can take action. That's one. The second one is our, our device grid, which gives you a, a customizable operational report that you can see any device or sets of devices or subsets of devices in any kind of customizable view. So if I want to see the operating system, um, you know, the IP address and what policy it's managed under, I can have one view that looks like that or a totally different view that looks like, uh, you know, alerts, um, AV threats and I don't know, um, uh, MAC address for whatever reason. So I have this much more customizable and filterable uh, operational report. Um, and then third is uh, an update to our condition set. This, these are our monitors, things that allow you to proactively see issues on a device. And when those, those configurations or um, uh, statuses are, are met, you'll get a proactive alert that tells you you need to go solve it, right? Those three things kind of together give you a lot of visibility. But every single one of those were a big ask from our customer set. They've been asking for these things for, you know, whether it be three months or six months or a year, and they go and use our public roadmap to vote on them. And these are all incredibly highly voted features. On the automation side, uh, we have two big uh, features here, our software package repository, which is just a way to upload um, uh, installers and customize them and build these custom packages that you can then host in Ninja and deploy software much more easily uh, through. And, and second, our um, dynamic script forms, which allow you to abstract your automation out a little bit more effectively so that your frontline techs can actually automate, you know, more dynamically, more efficiently, and really give them access to automation. Um, the software package repository, for example, had over a thousand customers who had asked for it, right? And we're finally delivering on it um, after we spent, you know, uh, quite a while re totally redesigning and reimagining what software deployment would look like in Ninja. So I think the the customer-driven nature of the release is the thing I'm most excited about. When we look at automation, we also talk about AI, and these days we are talking a lot about generative AI. The fact is that we have been using AI for a very long time. Uh, what kind of scope do you see either for Ninja One or for your ecosystem of things like you know generative AI, chat GPT kind of things? I think this is this is fine to include. Um, Ninja One is is conservative in some ways in that our tool gives you a lot of control. Um, which means that um, we have to be conservative with how we roll things out. Because you have control over such a broad a state of devices for any given company, um, there's risk to that. Now, we, we, we believe that the, the benefit is worth the risk, but when we roll things out, we need to make sure that um, we have done everything we can to minimize risk. So that's a, a good preamble to, we do see a role for AI and generative AI in what Ninja does. But we are not um, willing to deliver on that at this point until we have done the thorough risk assessment needed, ensured that anything we build delivers on that in a high impact and low risk way. And so um, you do see uh, generative, AI, generative AI being used in our industry in very um, sort of entry level ways. And we want to make sure that what we bring to market eventually when that day comes um, is high impact, low risk, and, and really changes the lives of our customers for the better. When we look at this latest release, 
how much of this was driven by customer demand or customer feedback versus things coming from Ninja One? Yeah, thanks for that question. So, uh, you know, we're as I said, we have this maniacal focus on our customer base, and we have an advisory board. We uh, meet very regularly with our customers. We have a public roadmap that allows them to go in and make suggestions and, and vote on what they want to see. And so that is always something that we include in how we prioritize our roadmap. We are always trying to balance you know, true innovation with customer asks. I'll give you a really good example here. Our dynamic script form feature, which came out in the most recent release, um, is something that customers hadn't asked for. What they had asked for was more ability to automate and an easier way to automate so that you know, entry level technicians or level one, two, one and two technicians can actually um, access automation in a really, um, a really easy way. And so I think this is a Ford situation, you know, people would have asked for faster horses, but what we did instead was completely redesign how we deploy scripts so that you can build automations more effectively. Your level three technicians can, or your engineers can build these um, really impactful automations and then hand them off in a, in a way that's really easy to deploy to lower level technicians who may not know scripting languages or how to automate. Um, and so everything we do goes through the lens of the customer, but sometimes we're trying to do something truly new and unique on top of what our customers ask for. What are the things that you folks are working on which we can expect uh, later this year? I think the biggest one, the one I'm most excited about is mobile device management. Um, it will be our, our biggest expansion of capabilities in, in a long time in terms of ability to manage new device types. Um, as, our, as people continue to work in remote and hybrid environments, as uh, companies realize the threat posed by remote work and by people accessing customer data on their own personal mobile devices, um, we recognize the need to manage mobile devices single pane. And that our ability to deliver on that will dramatically change how effectively we can really say a truly unified endpoint management solution. Peter, thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, talk about Ninja One and uh, new features, uh, a new addition that you folks made. Thanks for all those insights. And uh, I would love to chat with you folks again. Thank you. Thank you.